Hi, I'm Michelle from Unicorn and Centaur, and this equestrian film review is dedicated to the late, great Rutger Hauer. Equestrian Film Review is a series where I review non-horse movies from an equestrian perspective. Let's take a look at Lady Hawk. Lady Hawk is a fantasy adventure film from 1985 directed by Richard Donner and starring Michelle Pfeiffer, Rutger Hauer, and Matthew Broderick. Lady Hawk tells the story of Goliath, a beautiful black Frisian stallion with a stunning suspension to his trot and a glorious mane and tail. Goliath must help his human companions break the curse that binds them. His male human is Navarre, who is a man by day and a wolf by night. And Goliath's female human companion is Isabeau, who is a human woman by night and a hawk during the day. Knowing the humans love for each other, Goliath is determined to stay one stride ahead of the royal guard, while they, with the help of Ferris Bueller and a lazy medieval monk stereotype, rush to break the curse that keeps them apart. Goliath never flinches from his quest, not even when shot with arrows or constantly tied by the bit. Seriously, what is with the tying by the bit? Why do we do this in movies? Why? Goliath's quest culminates in a final fight where he must face a gray Andalusian stallion with an even more stunning mane and tail. The horses clash as the humans swing their swords clumsily, but Goliath is finally victorious as the gray horse falls to the ground in the battle. Rutger Hauer is a decent rider in this. He looks balanced and confident, and his horse does not seem to be irritated with him. Matthew Broderick is a hot mess in any of the scenes with the horses. <laughs> he looks uncomfortable and like he doesn't really know what he's doing, stiff and awkward. So I don't know if Matthew Broderick is personally a rider and he's just acting awkward for the scenes or if he's actually that awkward around horses, but it works for the character so I'm totally fine with it. The tack is gorgeous in this and reminds me of the tack in the movie Ever After. Beautiful flat leather bridles, uh, gorgeous barding, just everything looks so pretty. Seriously, I'm drooling. The gold tack set on the gray horse at the end is to die for. I'm dying. It looked like a unicorn without the horn, I mean. The only thing that consistently bothered me horsemanship wise was constantly tying the horses by the bit and reins. Do you want broken teeth? Because this is how you get broken teeth. I wish movies with horses in them would stop doing this. Just stop, 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 stop. The other part that kind of made me oh my god was the horse's fall in the final battle. That did not look like a trick. It looked like the horse actually slipped and lost its footing and I had a moment where I was like oh my god is the horse okay? I hope everything was fine during that shot and they just used the footage because it looked really cool, but it looked like that horse got hurt. Okay, I had not watched this movie in over 30 years. It was one of my favorites from childhood. I was 12 years old when this movie came out and when it was on constant rotation on HBO, I watched it every time I caught it on. <laughs> I have memories of this movie being beautiful and amazing. <laughs> my most recent viewing was different. Much different. First of all, oh my god, what's with the synthesizer music? Music by Alan Parsons. Like the Alan Parsons Project. <laughs> I do not remember the music being this cheesy. Y'all. It does not go with anything. It sounds like the soundtrack to a 70s action buddy cop TV show. It's awful. And who choreographed the fight scenes? Who choreographed the fight scenes? Who did this? No, I'm not even gonna look it up because they know what they did. The fights are terrible. And can we talk about the pacing? Holy moly, some of the scenes in this film dragged on. They could have cut another 30 minutes out of this. This really should have been a 90 minute movie. How is this a two hour movie? And is there even a plot? The story goes all over the place in weird chunks. At one point I felt like I was binge watching a season of a new TV show, complete with awful character dialogue and terrible out of character choices that just sort of are there to further the story along. I mean, besides the idea of the day night lover's curse and the beautiful horses in the film, this movie didn't have anything else. This movie has nothing. I had no idea how bad this movie was when I was 12. <laughs> Y'all, I still love it, but oh my gosh. If you are older and have not seen this movie in years, please go revisit it and then come tell me I'm not crazy. 
If you're one of my younger subscribers and you decide to go watch this movie, please remember that it was a different time. And be gentle with your judgment of us Generation X kids and our questionable taste in movies. How old were you when you first saw Lady Hawk? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching my video today. If you would like more videos for extra equestrians, then click that subscribe button and join our magical herd. There are also links in the description box below if you want to follow me on Instagram, check out my Etsy store, get your own custom made wine glass, that kind of thing. It's all down there. And if you've already done all that stuff, then there's some videos over here that you can just click on and go ham, y'all.